Carl, here's an elk tree. Oh, thanks. I think Autumn For and- For me or the elk. Yeah, <laughs> are really into this. What tools do we have to predict which species are more at risk with climate change? People take different approaches to, to predicting what the impacts might be. Um, one way uh, is habitat modeling. So actually taking what we know about what an animal looks for and uses in its habitat and then using predictive mapping to say how is the ecosystem going to change through climate change and is that going to open up or cause an expansion or a contraction of areas suitable. So that's that's one powerful way to look at it. The other way is more to focus on the the actual behavioral ecology of the animal and ask the questions of is are these species do they have that range of, of behavior or plasticity to allow them to extend their range elsewhere. So something like an elk is capable, an individual elk can move a lot further in its lifetime than a rattlesnake. Uh, and so they may have the capacity to shift and we see elk populations where some move and some don't. And so there's that plastic behavior and maybe the migrants will be uh, favored over time. Um, so it's, it's a really exciting time for animal ecology. It's unfortunate that the circumstances that have created it. Polar bears have become an accidental icon for our warming world as the ice they rely on to find food melts away. But that hasn't stopped artists from having hope for the strong species that inspires them. Since I've been uh, an artist, I mostly carve polar bears, and that's something I love doing. It came from my family uh, in this town, King Lake. Today I, I'm carving a, a polar bear. This is the, the, the beginning of shaping. I think polar bears are magnificent animals. They are very adapted to this, this environment. I grew up around polar bears around here in Baffin Island. So I, I also grew up where artists making polar bears. I think for the climate change, I guess the, the weather melts a little faster and takes longer to freeze. I think more over in the Alaska. Over here, the elders believe the bears are quite healthy and they're able to hunt seal in this uh, frozen sea ice. And they're able to uh, adapt anything. <laughs> 